today we are going to be doing something very interesting with Google Slides. So, the first thing is we are going to be making the words look more cool and spinning around. And then the second thing is we're going to change the words co colors. And after that, we are going to uh, show how this slide is going to change. Like it's a cube and then it moves like this and some cool stuff like that. Let's get started. So first, how we animate the words by pressing the transition. And after that, we click on the thing that we want to animate. And then there's going to be a yellow plus that says add animation. We can click on that. So I want it to come from the top. So I click fly from the top. That means it's going to come from here all the way down over here. And this is how much time it's going to take for it to do it. There. So now if you want to see how it works, press play. And then it says on click. So I have to click and then it comes from the top. So I press stop and then I want to add another animation. And I clicked on this one two times and I don't want that so I'm going to delete it. There's a trash can on this side. So here I want this to fade in. That means it's going to stay in the same spot. And then it's going to be first like not there and slowly it's going to come. So I want it at the same time. So I press with previous and for the same amount of time. Now play and then I click. Cool. Okay. So now I'm going to stop this and then I'm going to make this change color. So first, if you want to change the complete color of the outside, you could click on this and then I want it to be green. Now the outside turned green and here the text color is dark blue and the highlight color yellow. There! Now I want this. I just want to have the color for the outside. So I go here. And this is there. And the text, I want to change the text color to white. There. Now, I can go to slide number two. And then I want this one to be really cool. So, first, I'm going to make the outside green and the text yellow. Now I want this one and then here. And if you want to change the text, then you have to highlight the text first or else it will only go to the stuff that you type after. 
this red and this green. Okay, now I added all the color. So I want to add an animation. So click here, add animation. So I want this one to fade in. And then you don't have to click play after every single animation. If you know, if you feel like it's gonna be right, then that might be good for you. So, I want this to come from the bottom. Now, another animation is this YouTube guy. Okay, this one I want to spin. Okay, let me play my animation. Okay. Now, if you can make it click, when you click, I mean, uh, do the animation when you click, or after the one that was before, or with the one that was before with previous and with previous so i only have to click once and all three of them will do the same that was pretty cool okay now over here i want this to be a little bit tilted Okay. Okay. There. Now, if I go to the present, I can go to side one. Okay. Now I I want to make some changes. I want to add animation to this slide too. So first here. Hmm. Okay, I think I, I think I'm doing good. Let me try. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Now I want to change the whole slides layout and like how it changes around. And that's the third thing. So let's do it. So right now, it says slides translation. And then under that, it says none. So I click on the none. And then I like cube. So, and apply to all slides means when you do it to one slide, then it will do it to the other side and slide after that Ta -da. now there now if I go on present mode whoa that was really cool did you see the cube? Okay. Now, I think I like this. So, we learned the three things that we wanted to learn. And 
make sure to check out my YouTube channel for more fun videos and subscribe. Bye!